just going to get right into this one, guys. If you got no time, work smarter than ever Don't ever let them tell you that you can't never say never And turn your mind into the truest to go get us Never stop, don't get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah Right, you guys, what's happening? Hey, man, I welcome you guys to another episode of some sick made airbrushing, man. Um, my name is Jason, and um, he, and here I am, just getting right into it, you guys. So, you know, uh, uh, the title is, guys, is basically, you know, having line control. It's, it's line control, right? So, you know, there's a, a bunch of different definitions to that when it comes to airbrushing, man. But this, these are my uh, my definitions in in this process when you're when I'm doing freehand when you're doing freehand art. And um, going into this um, and, and having that control, right? So basically, guys, the definitions from me would be, you know, to it, it, when line, when I think of line control, I think of cleansiness, right, of, of the project, right, of the image that I'm painting, right? It could be lettering. It could be, you know, it could be this an image. It could be anything whenever you're airbrushing, right? So <clears throat> whenever I think of, of, of line control, I think of cleansiness. What I mean by that, guys, is is basically having having clean lines it's you know when the way i think about airbrushing man is is just like it's just like tattooing guys you know what i mean it really is so you know um your lines gotta be clean they gotta be you know somewhat straight you know what i'm saying um they don't and you don't want to uh muddy up an image and what i mean by muddy up an image uh, especially when you're using black like i'm doing in this image here i'm doing a female with a hat and then i'm gonna do some text in it but you know you don't want to i'm using black so black is is brutal i always say this man black is brutal because you overdo it with black and, and your lines aren't clean and, and and uh they're too thick too much black or or what i mean by like uh like getting cleansiness or or it's being muddy you know what i mean you don't want the image to look muddy man you, you want it to be sharp and 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 not muddy <laughs> you know what i mean so i mean i could give examples and, and show you some pictures of, of stuff i've seen online but i'm not here to to dog anyone's work you know what i mean because a lot of that um 
a lot of that muddiness, it, what I'm talking about with, with when you're using darker colors or, or doing the outline of an image, you know, it, it's, it's basically you're using too much, right? So you're not close enough to the, to the surface is what I'm trying to say. So like whenever you're doing outlining guys, you want to be close to the surface. Look how close I am here. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm about probably an inch. Probably about an inch or so. I could go a little deeper when I'm doing like uh, like her eyes and doing the eyelashes and stuff like that. You know, it just depends. You know what I mean? Where you what where you where you at on the image and what you're painting, right? So, but like the outline part of these of this man, you want to be you know an inch from it. And I'm also blasting it. I'm blasting this paint, man. I'm at, I'm at, I'm at high psi about. Uh, 65 sometimes 70 psi or even higher man you know what i mean so that's another thing you gotta look at too you know i'm using a bottom feed i'm not using a, a top feed man so you know i'm using a bottom feed so i'm gonna be higher on the higher on the pressure so and i'm gonna get those lines so you get those sharp lines like this is when you're close to an image uh or close to the surface itself and and you're just blasting it on man so you know you're doing a bunch of dagger strokes you know whenever you need to and um, having clean lines. Don't make the image muddy, man, is what I'm talking about. So I'll, I'll touch base more on this a little bit, man. So just, uh, we'll just continue this to roll with this image, man. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring, I Just want a life that is worth every day exploring, yeah My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be Just want to get back into this uh uh giving that definition of the line control man and you know what i mean just uh yeah don't don't muddy an image up guys you know it, and that, that muddiness comes from uh, a lot of upcoming artists that are into that are getting into airbrushing and whatnot man they tend to uh spray a little further than they need to so like i said if you want to get those tight lines those tight clean clean lines uh you know you want to be at least uh uh an inch or so from the from the surface if not even closer you know what i mean when you're getting deeper into like sharper points you know like like hair and, and stuff on the face you know eyebrows and eyelashes and whatnot you know what i mean so just 
just try to keep away from the moneyness, man. You know, the, the straight lines and stuff like that will come uh, with practice and, and freehanding guys. You know what I mean? So you, you guys know me, man. I, I push on freehanding guys. So, you know, this is an original piece um, that I just created. You know, just, uh, it's an order of, of the Raiders, man. So I know you guys see a lot of Raider stuff um, that I do, man. And, and actually, uh, this, the part two is going to be... Uh, another image uh, of some some lettering on line control man so it's gonna be another another raider uh another raider uh video man uh or uh, image that i did man so anyways uh but yeah guys just keep your keep practicing guys you know them that's the main thing is, is, is the main focus is, is you guys practicing and getting getting your lines straight getting them clean looking um don't muddy the image up guys because that that looks it, it doesn't look good but you know what i'm saying i don't want to dog anyone's stuff dude you know what i mean i really don't because um, i've done that stuff before and man i my brother used to tell me man jay you're using too much black or you know when, when i what he meant was is your your lines are too thick too much black too much black so like when you guys are doing outlines man you just got to be careful and, and make them sharp, you know what I'm saying? Like like here, man, with, like when you're doing eyes and stuff like that, man, you know, just try to make it as clean as possible, guys. Make them as thin as possible. And one other thing, one other tip I want to give you guys, man, is try not to go over your lines over and over again, you know what I mean? This is what another reason why I blast my paint on so I don't have to go over my lines as much. And if you do go over your lines, Make sure they're the same thickness, man. The same thickness of what you got, man. You know what I mean? Don't make them thicker than what they need to be, you know. <clears throat> and, 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 and another thing, too, man, is, like, my lines aren't perfect, guys. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to go back, like, on the on the lid right here. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back on that and, and try to straighten that up, man. I'm going to leave it as is, man. You know what I mean? We're not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect on this. It's freehand art, man. So... You know what I mean? So that's just something that, that will come in time, you know what I mean, uh, you get better at, you know what I mean? So and stuff that you just want to just leave alone sometimes, man. Just leave it alone because the, the more you put on, the more you go over your lines, man, the worse it gets. <laughs> that's facts. <laughs> that's facts right there, guys. So just try to stay away from that, man. But um, anyways, guys, this is a, a short, shorter video, man. I really do hope you guys got something out of this, man. You know what I mean? Because so that's what it's all about. That's what my videos are all about. You know, I really want you guys to push on your freehand, guys. You know, because, you know, doing original art and, and or just even even seeing an image or, or, you know, you're not necessarily copying other people's stuff. You know what I mean? You're just getting references, man, So and making it making that stuff your own, man. So... You know, that's something to, to really think about, guys. You know, that's something that you could put your name on. You know what I mean? And, and that's yours. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. All right, guys. So we're, we're at the end here. And I'm gonna, my outro is coming up. There you have it, guys. Just another freehand design. <clears throat> it is what it is, man. You got, you got to attack the image. You got to attack what you want to do, man. And lay it down just like that, guys. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, man. It's a short video, but just wanted to lay it down like that, guys. Letting you guys know you could do it. You could do it. Get your butts out there and practice freehand, guys. This is what it's all about, man. Feel free. If you just feel free, more, more free doing it, man. You know what I mean? You're not messing around with anything, no other techniques or no, or any of that stuff, man. Just go to town, man. And, and I feel good right now. <laughs> My name is Jason, the Sick Made Airbrushing, guys. Peace out. <laughs>